Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Dope Exclusive on Dope TV. Yes, this is where we bring your favorite celebrities. We get to talk to them about their personal life, their careers, every single thing you want to know about them. I'm sure you've been seeing them on your TV screens, your laptop screens, even your cinema screen, but you're going to be seeing them right here on Dope Exclusive. And I have my guest already in the studio. He's talented. He's an actor. <laughs> Before I unveil who my guest is, my name is Richard Bolakale on Nordic, or your number one TV good. And after this short break, I'll be unveiling who my guest is. Don't go anywhere. Dope exclusive on Dope TV. Hey guys, welcome back. You are still on Dope exclusive on Dope TV. I told you before I went on the short break that my guest is in the studio already. He's talented. He's an actor. As in, when it comes to the Nigerian movie industry, he's a veteran. Please welcome with me to the studio, Dio Davis. Thank you very much for coming, sir. Thank you, Richard. It was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you very much. Let me, let me start from here. How many years have you been in the industry now? Well, I started in the 90s. Wow. I was still in the university then. And um, Wala Denuga, Mr. Wala Denuga. Okay. The popular Papa Jasko producer and um, executive producer. He came over to Unilag to do auditions for his extras then. Okay. and. Wow. So aside from the extra part? Okay. Yes, that's what we started. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the major castle. So. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. So he did auditions and some of us passed and that's how I started professional acting. Wow. Although I've been doing stage play in the university as an hobby. Oh, so you have you have uh, like a background knowledge of what stage looks like? I started started from there. Yeah. Well, did you did you do professionally or just from in school? No, I did some um, professional stage plays but not too much. Eh, so what's what's the difference between stage and screen? Uh stage you don't take two. <laughs> and you see, um, stage gives you that confidence, and you see, there's a joy in stage, because whatever you do, immediately you you, you know if people love what you do. You get your instant reaction. That is it. Mm. It's life. Stage is life. Wow, it's life. What about screen then? Well, screen can always take twenty. <laughs> <laughs> take one, take two, take three, take four, take five. Take 20. <laughs> But it's wow. all fun. It's fun. Wonderful, wonderful. A lot of people go to a lot of people go into the movie industry because of the fame, the glitz and the glamour. What actually inspired your choice of career? Um I got into it not because I started it not because I wanted it as a career. Oh. I read banking and finance Unilag. Wow, what uh, what 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 is now happening? You're supposed to be in the bank right no, now. No, 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 no. <laughs> I can't do it to five. I'm a restless person. Oh, okay. You know, so as I said, the theater 15 was just for fun, mm. just like every other club, mm, yeah. you know, like Rotary Club, yeah. Music Club, yeah. it was just drama club. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us came out of it though. Um, Bumi Debi, Scar De Peter, Steady Baby Face, wow. a Princess, um, a lot of us, Binga De Inka, a lot of us, Kofi. Oh, wow. We're all in theater 15. And you know, so. When Adenuga came and we started the professional, I just, I just loved it and continued. Continue like yeah. that. So you just left your banking and finance like that. No, I can't do it to five. It's stressful. <laughs> okay. All right. So what, what, what was your, what was your first film? My first film. Ah, oh, can I remember? I think it was a Yoruba movie. Mm. You know, the, um, late Yomi Ogumola produced it, mm. and um, I can't even remember the name right now. I can't. I can't remember the name. I think that was that was in the nineties. Nineties also. Yes. yes. But what was what, what, like your, your latest project right now that you can actually? What, what what I'm doing right now? We are talking about. I do most of TV. Okay. And it's an Mnet project. Oh. Um, my flatmate. Oh, show oh, on Monday to Friday, one five one. Okay, channel one five one. One yeah. DSTV. On DSTV. Yes. That's true. That's true. And the likes of Basket Mouth and Basket Mouth. Okay, Bakasi. Yo, Bucci, Bucci yeah. Kade Peters. Wonderful. So if you were not acting, what would you have been doing? Acting. Like, okay, go ahead. Okay. <clears throat> Listen to me, Dio David. In the option, nothing like acting. <laughs> what would I, you be? I'll still be in the entertainment. For example, now, I love photography. Oh, are you a professional, professional photographer? Yes, professional. I cover weddings, I cover occasions. Wow. And I did not learn it. Anywhere. How did you not get it? Just an hobby and I learnt on playing with the camera. Wow. 
Wow, that's, that's that means you don't need to actually sit down before somebody teaches you or something. No, you there are some things that um, I was, learn. Yeah, no, there are there are some things I love doing. Mm. If you ask me now to bring my pictures, I don't have personal pictures. Oh. But there are a lot of pictures I've taken people and just it. I love taking pictures. pictures. So if you're not acting, you're gonna you're gonna yeah, probably be a photographer. Yeah. Or doing business. Uh, yeah, but I was about asking about your banking and finance. <laughs> I, I I like for example now, before this um flood me project started, I was producing coconut oil. Mm. I don't buy from anybody and and probably package it. I produce it my as in like I go as far as ask it of Badagri to buy the coconut. Wow. I will break the coconut, process it myself so. and bottle it. Wow. So apart from as in there is a side of so there's something I, different. I would I would do it does once my heart goes for it, mm. I would do it. Mm. That's me when it comes to business. Once my heart goes for it, I'll do it. Wow, wonderful. It is but it seems like in your let, let's come back to your acting car. It seems in your most of the movies you do, you play the comic roles. Uh, you play the comic roles. Why why? Why is it that you, that what you, that's what you love or something? No, or you, you know the the, the Nigerians once you do something, they stick to it. They stereotype you. Yeah, they stereotype you. It actually started like, for example, when we were doing the stage play, I joined the theater at fifteen, and that was, that was what year? Sorry, I think it was in ninety, I think ninety three. Okay. Or ninety two. Okay. So I joined the theater at fifteen, and I then I wasn't good at reading scripts, mm. so they gave me. They were doing audition for this stage play, so they gave me the script to read, and I think I fumbled. So, but there were rehearsals. I kept on going for rehearsals. I wasn't part of the, the cast the for cast. the drama, but one of the cast now didn't come. So they now told me, ge, 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 ge. just do for so that the rehearsals won't break. Rehearsals won't break, you know, as yeah. they were rehearsing. And at the end of the day, I did it, and I did it more than the person that they were going to use. Oh my God. So that's how I got the role, and that's how they started using me for comic roles. So even like for example, Nakadi Peters co-produced um, Flatmates with Basket Mouth. We're in the same theater together. together. So he started Flatmates then. Oh, so it's not, it's not just it's not just a recent idea or something. No, it had been it had been it had been running. It was on Silver Bed for years. Yeah. Then it stopped. Then I think um, JSTV loved the idea and they brought it back. Wow. Wow, so but is it that you didn't make a conscious effort of taking yourself away from the comic part, like doing the serious part of doing the comic uh, part? Like, yes. like, to an extent, I love, I love the comic part. And then maybe my face reaction and everything and <laughs> got me into trouble, then <laughs> sticking to the comedy. But I do other parts too. Mm. I've done some series of soaps that I played some serious parts sure. and mm. came out well. So, so far? So far in your, in your acting career, what has been your, your most challenging role? Uh, well, I think the the most challenging ones, I'd, act, I'd, I'd acted um, an herbalist in a yoga movie, mm -hmm. and I think I've done it twice. The problem I really had was the incantations. Oh, why? Why? I, you know, like, for example, I was born in Lagos. I grew up in Lagos. Mm -hmm. And, um... The, the I grew up in a Papa Jerry, you know, and everything, and I didn't really mix with people that would actually teach me or me learning the incantations and. The rest. But you can speak Yoruba very well. Of course. Definitely yes, definitely okay. yes. I've done Yoruba so. Yes, yeah. Yeah, so Julie Kesa and the rest. So that's 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 your most challenging role. That's it. The incantations. Well, both you've learned them right now. You know how to no, do them right I now. haven't. I haven't. Uh, then when you have, you see, like for example, comedy. You 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 don't are you you don't follow a comedy script mm. to the letter. Mm -hmm. So if you have some directors that all they all they will tell you is word for word, then it becomes a problem. Problem, yeah. Because comedy is not. You see, when I read read a script and what do we rehearse, and then we, we face the camera, definitely something else will come. Yeah, spontaneity. Then mm. the director says no 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 mm. I don't want that and it becomes boring and. Frustrating. Wow, wonderful, wonderful. Guys, don't go anywhere. You're still on Dope Exclusive on Dope TV after this short break. I'll see Mr. Dial Davis in the studio. Don't go anywhere. 
Guys, welcome back here. Still on Dope Exclusive on Dope TV, and I still have Dio David in the studio. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you again for coming. Before we went on the break, we were actually talking about um, what the directors, the role directors, plays when it comes to you following the script okay. word for word. Yes. Yeah, you say something about that. Yeah, like for example, now not all directors can direct um, comedy scenes. Mm, so they're like special directors. Yeah, uh, because you have to have the humor. Mm. To be able to understand which way to turn, mm. like for example, um, this um, there was one um, sitcom, Bella's Place by Royal Roots, okay. and they had um, um, student directors on set, and we were reading the night before the, sh the shoot the next day, and somebody said eh, and I said taco. <laughs> you know, and, and the person that was supposed to be in charge of the because they were taking turns. Right. Now, the student director that was supposed to take my own shoot said, No, 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 you don't say that, it's not the script. Well, no, the director said, No, how would you say no to no, that? Ah, that? That's then spontaneous and it's nice. And at the end of the day, we did the taco, and the taco was in their montage all true oh my god you see so it's it, it, it's not every director i'm not saying all directors are not good okay but not every director is good at comedy mm. Mm. that's just it wonderful wonderful so that means they have the you must be a superb kind of director for you to be able to spot a not, not just being superb but just you see, you see this thing is i believe there are some things that are talents mm. that 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 you have them you build them if you don't have them, no matter how much you try to build, yes, yes, you can't. Yes, that's true. For example, now I do TV comedy. Somebody says, Why don't you do stand up comedy? My face is my comedy. My body movement is my comedy. You know, the way I deliver my lines is my comedy. I cannot stand now and crack jokes and you are not watching. Watch you might not laugh. Mm. But if Basketball stands now and you hear him cracking jokes mm. in the. In the next room, if you don't even see his face, from what he says, you laugh. You, you laugh. Mm. So they are both different. So you know, you're like, you've drawn your lines already, you know which one fits you already. That's your stuff. Wonderful, wonderful. So, so far in your career, what can you say, it has, been, what can you say has been your most embarrassing moment? Mm. <laughs> I can't really say because I. My job and my life are two different. Um, you know, there are two different things. I don't infuse or cross the line. So I don't think I really get embarrassed. I don't, I don't. Like maybe probably on set something happened. Maybe when you were, maybe when you were um, coming up as an actor, nothing. Well, there was one day, I will not mention the director's name. Mm, there was why? one day, no, no, I don't <laughs> want to. One day we were doing, we were shooting. And after some time, I said, Dio, do you know what? I've known you for seven, eight years. In front of everybody, what? you've not improved at all. Hey, I felt like entry in the ground. Oh my God. Then one day I was in my house at about nine. They're showing one, one other program I did. He watched it and he called me. And he was praising me. Then me alone. And he had embarrassed That's me. You. In... Ha! Oh my God. <laughs> So, so um, you've been in the industry for a whole, like, for a long time now, since since the nineties, as you yes. said. What is that particular um, distinct change you've seen in the industry? Ah, oh, man, the most loving part of it is this um, internet things, different stations coming on, mm -hmm. and you know, it's 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 giving it value. Mm. It's reducing people running to own videos. Yeah. It's reducing people selling to all these um, um, kabat. Uh, marketers, yeah. where, where, where if you don't sell to them or you don't use this person or that person or this person, they don't buy your film, your film does not sell, your program would not fl uh, fly, fly because, you know, in those days, you, you, you pay TV stations, you run around for adverts and yeah. the rest, yeah. but now I think the thing is changing. changing. So it's, it's even better for the actors. So they are getting better paid. Yeah, yeah. are you sure about that? Yes, it depends on, it depends on where you are working and who you are acting for. Mm. At least it's better. I started with, I think, five hundred naira per episode. Five hundred naira per episode. Uh, that was that was my balloon. 
in the 90s. 90s okay. And that was even one of the best then. Mm. As in like Wale Adenuga was mm. yeah, yeah. So it was one of the best like, 500 hour per episode. So like how, how much do you call it per, per movie right now? It depends on who is calling. Like flat me, let's say fl flat me. Like, like, so <laughs> like how much do you call it? But it's okay. No, do you like for now it's a contract job. Yo. So we get like salaries, not oh. uh, most of the actors get salaries. Oh. Then the players get those uh -huh, what they uh, per day or something. Alright, okay. So for the record, for the record right now, what is that particular thing, that particular perception that you love to change? Like if there's one thing you okay, want to say, okay, this is what I want to change. I, I don't want you guys to think I'm not this kind of person. What's that particular thing? In me? Yeah, about you, yes. Mm, well, I maybe if you stop thinking I can I can only do comedy. Uh, okay. Did you stop thinking I can only do comedy? Alright. So, it, it, apart from that, means, but I, I believe if you want them to stop thinking that it's, you can't just do liquid, that you can do other roles, mm. then that means talking to producers will actually help. Like when, when they give you roles, you can tell them or something. And the thing about it is that when, when, when they call you already, if you go through, like sometimes, okay, when I did Bovis movie, they, that's that's um, um, Bovi. Bovi, okay, Bovi's yeah. movie, yeah, yeah. It's Ade. Ade. Um, when they sent me the script, the produ uh, production manager said that you read all the script. I now read the script. He now said, which role do I think is is going to give me in all the roles? I picked two. And out of the two, one was it. Because they had already thought of comedy for me. Mm. They had table, they, they casted me for the role already. Do you feel bad sometimes when they, when they stereotype you as a comic actor? No, I love comedy. Love comedy. So yeah. it's not even, it's not really like it's. It no, no, it bad. doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It's, I love it. So forever you keep on playing comic roles. That's good. Wonderful. Guys, wonderful. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> it has been nice talking to Dio David. After this short break, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Very interesting one coming your way. Guys, welcome back. You're still on Dope, exclusive on Dope TV. And I told you before we went on the short break that this segment is a very interesting one. We're going to be play, playing a game called Bring It On. Should I bring it on? Yeah, let's, let's try. Bring it on? Let's try. Bring it on. Okay, so I start by saying cinema. Movie. Hard. Ama. Jennifer. Diary. Alakada. Capos. Cucumber. Mm, sausage. Gucci. Wristwatch. Bleaching. Women. Banana. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Ladies. Ejaculation. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sir. So, who, who is your woman crush in the industry? Crush? Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a crush. Okay, so is, you don't have anyone right now? Like, one right now? Mm, I don't even have half. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so which one can you deal with? Mouth odor or body odor? One of the above. No, you have to pick one. Now this one you have to pick well, one. Well I would probably say mouth because at least when the person talks to you, that's when you You know, but what if in that particular scene you're supposed to probably do the intimate kissing will you still go with yeah. mouth odor? Do you know why I'm smiling? Why? Because I'm happy that such scenes don't come my way. No, yeah, and maybe as the, maybe as the comic person in the movie, and yeah, maybe you have this lady, this lady that you're just eyeing, you're supposed to kiss her, and she has mouth odor. Ah, that is hard, do. All right, okay, no problem, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, wonderful, wonderful. That's been a wonderful one. Hanging out with Dio David in the studio. Thank you very much for coming, sir. Thank welcome. you so much. Thank you. Wonderful. Hey guys, in case you missed this episode, no while, just go to our website www.dubtv.ng to get a recap of whatever happened here. And make sure you follow us on all of our social media and those at DubTVNG. I remain your number one TV god, Richard Bolakale on Nodeco. I'll be here for sure. My Instagram handle is on Nodeco. What's your Instagram handle? I did die your Davis. I did die your Davis. Alright, okay. So guys, nice one. Stay do next time. Mm hmm. Mm hmm.